In this video, I will be fighting the biggest battle in Mandalords, and I will be giving some tips and tricks throughout the battle, because so far I've fought a lot of battles, and I'm starting to understand what strategies work the best. And you have to start with selecting your army that you want to bring into battle. So I brought some spears, some axes, and three archer units, and you can't bring more units. The maximum amount of units that you can bring in battle, at least in early axes, is six units. And after that, you need to select them all, click on rally, and then select the point where you want them to go to. And it's so cool to see all your soldiers just running from their houses towards the location. It looks really cinematic. And this shows how important every soldier is in Mandalore's. Because if you lose one soldier, you have one less worker in your city. So your production will go down. So really, every man counts. And by the way, I will show how I got to this point in Mandalore's in future videos. So make sure to subscribe and just watch how these peasants run. There we go, they declared war on us. And the battle is called Battle of Goldhof. You can see on the map where it is, and the enemy is coming from here. I will quickly show how good the enemy units are looking and how fully equipped they are compared to my men. On some of my men I got armor, but not all of them. And they are coming in pretty big numbers. So yeah, this will be an uphill battle. That circle on the map is the battlefield, and I'm here and he's over there. He will probably come from this road and face me over here. So I have to prepare my army on that location. So planning out the battlefield and the battle is very important. Because high ground in this game is very powerful, and you need to make sure you're literally not fighting an uphill battle. So I'm first setting up my little over 100 archers, and just remember, it's the best to have your units in a two-man thick formation. In my experience, they perform the best that way. So the formation that worked the best for me so far is the spearhead formation, with my general unit in the back, which is a very armored and strong unit. But the unfortunate thing is that they are only 12 men strong. But there is a way to increase their man count, but I will show you that another time. And I want my archers standing right in front of them so they can get some early shots off and then later on retreat when they come close. And by the way, when you press tab, you will see where the units are going. And furthermore, I put my infantry units in the stand your ground formation because you don't have to counter charge because my infantry units don't have any charge bonus. And here's a little close up of my units. As you can see, some units got armor like helmets and plates and some don't because you need to individually buy every unit at armor, which is very expensive. These are, by the way, my arches. As you can see, not very well equipped. And this is my badass general. And by the way, my general unit is the only unit with charge bonus. So it can be very powerful with surrounding enemy units. Here they come. And by the way, don't forget to put fight will on on your archers now before the battle starts make sure to smash that like button that's the only thing i ask from you guys and now we can go back to the video the archer animations are looking so good but the only thing is that they only get like two volleys off before they come to close and make sure you do that on time because if your enemy comes into charge distance they get like an insane speed bonus and they will catch your archers so better be safe than sorry pull them back but pull them back directly behind your triangle formation because this way your enemy will bump into the triangle formation and once they are stuck in combat then you can spread them out and get them to the flanks so they can shoot in their sights. And yeah here you can see the charge speed and it's a pretty good charge. So most of my archers are not able to shoot right now so I have to put them to my flanks. And the best flank to shoot from is the left side because this way you will hit their non-shield side which will do more damage just like in the Total War series. And I'm flanking with my general unit on the right side. My infantry alone will definitely lose in combat, so my archers better start to put in some work. I'm not 100% sure, but I think archers have unlimited ammo. There we go, I can flank with my general, which is very needed, but they are not getting the speed bonus. That was a little bit weird charge, I don't know what was going on over there, but they will still put in some work. Oh yeah, and here I got charged by some flanking units that were hidden in the woods. That was actually pretty cool to see from the AI. And yeah, they got into my archers, good job by them. But all my other archers immediately started focusing them, and they were shooting the non shoot side of them. So they instantly melted that unit because it was a very light armored flanking unit. And as you heard, once they kill a unit, they all cheer. Which is nice, because this way you know when you broke an enemy unit. And here's some close combat. It looks really good, but sometimes a little bit hard to see which units are from you. But by selecting all the fighting units, it will become a little bit more clear which units are from you. Because your units will get highlighted with that white circle. My archers were able to shoot somehow, but I wanted to get a better flank on them to do more damage. And I don't know how, but these archers came into my back. And yeah, they're slowly killing my archers. So I turned my archers to face the enemy archers and put them into anti-missile mode, which I think will increase their missile block chance. And I immediately got a message, I can make it worthwhile if you drop all your claims, signed by the enemy, write back or end conversation. Well, this is a sign that you're winning. So yeah, end the conversation. And I should win this now, the archer is running away and I'm melting them over here. And this was pretty interesting, just look. The enemy decides to fall back for some reason. And I was like, alright, I can do the same. So I put my units in a gift ground formation and then I fell back. And this gave my archers a clear shot at the enemy. And that broke the unit. And that victory gave me this province. And after a battle you need to put your soldiers back to work. And just look what happens when you do that.
Alright, that was definitely worth the like button. And don't forget to subscribe for future Mandalorian content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.